Hello and welcome to Solution Code. In the last video, we uh, we have seen how to make a page dynamic, and this is the layout which is dynamic right now. This is showing the number of articles, and here below that we have the article uh, image and title and link to see the complete article. So in this video, uh, we would be developing uh, articles uh, or a blog detail page where we are going to show only a single blog articles in detail so let's start the video for that basically I'm going to use a similar uh, UI so let's start the video and see what we can do here so here is our model and this is our um, Let's copy this view first of all and I would load this view here, dollar this, load view and here I am going to load the view as a blog detail. I will make a view here. Log underscore detail dot php and I'll just paste everything here and here I have put a loop and a lot of thing here which I have to remove it if I reload the same thing log underscore detail so it is going to give me error for dollar result and everything and I have copied uh, the same thing and I haven't passed anything here as dollar as I have done it here. So here I have to first of all get rid of all these things which are not required like this. This is not required at all. Instead of this I am going to put my title on the top. This is going to be my article title and below that uh, this is going to be uh, my image and everything here so let, so let me first remove everything and see how my page looks the dollar value is there still it is going to give me errors yes so okay let's do one thing uh, first of all we have the IDs with us if I go back and I click on any of the view page so I have the IDs with me so let me first check if I'm getting the ID properly or not let's die by printing log id yes so the ids are properly fetched so that is okay now i have to fetch complete details of that particular id so for that i'll inside my model i will create a function fetch log detail and here i would require my blog ID okay and my blog ID I will pass it here and accordingly it will give me a result so same thing I can copy it here and I'll, I'll just change change the status oh, sorry change the where condition is blog underscore ID and here I will pass my blog underscore ID. So this should work fine because I'm just selecting from articles where blog ID is this. So this is going to give me a single um, row details in an array format. I'm just converting it here and, and I'm sending the array here. Okay, so I have to load this 
first upload the article here load sort access load model oh what i'm writing just a second download this model name which is nothing but article model just put in it here i am giving a short name also so that i don't have to type it again and again and here i am just typing am and then i am just passing i am just calling my function fetch blog detail and i am just passing my blog id to this as a parameter so here I can get my result and after that basically I will just store my result here as a result and I will pass that result to my Log detail page as passing the data value. So this is how uh, it is passed here. Now, if I try to kind of uh, print what I'm getting in the result, print and just put R. Let's print it. Um, all the result. Log ID in where clause. So there is some problem here. Log underscore ID, and here you can see I have written log ID as log underscore ID. So that's why it is giving me an error. So here I can see that I have fetched successfully. So next thing is just to Actually, this is not highlighting it properly. So what I will do is I'll close this. I'll open this again. So it should start highlighting it properly. Now here instead of uh, 12, uh, 4, I would just write 12. And here I can write um, as I know that it's going to be a single value only. I'll just write zero after the result. That should work fine. And it will require the button now. So this is the way uh, we display it. And here we can get rid of this print statement as well. This was just for checking if I'm getting the result properly here or not. And one thing is remaining is our title. And here instead of this uh, article, we can just use title. So here I will write a result of zero this you can check this is our title and this is our blog if I want to go back okay I will make it clickable first Thank 
quite cool, which I'm just deleting it as I don't require the project is complete. So this is the view. Now if I want to check for certain articles, I can click view it in details. So this completes our mini project. You can uh, do much better UI than this. This is this was just for the demo purpose. How you, the things are working in Code Igniter, and whatever we have learned, we have tried to implement in a mini project. I hope this video series was helpful, and I was able to uh, teach you the basic concepts of Code Igniter as well as i have given you certain advanced concepts as well uh, by clearing it through practical so thank you guys for watching in case if you have any doubts you can put those doubts on the comment section i usually go through the comment sections and i will try to answer all the queries raised in our comment section thank you for watching guys i'll take your leave now thank you Bye. Take care.